In this topic, we are going to learn about distance time and speed time graphs. Let's start off with looking at distance time graph. A distance time graph shows the distance of an object from a reference point at a particular time t. To recall, this triangle here will help us to remember the formula for distance, speed, and time. In this case, speed is equal to distance divided by time, and average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time. Now let us look at how to interpret a distance time graph. The diagram shows a distance time graph of a car. Now this is our starting reference point, and at zero hours, the car traveled zero kilometers. The upward sloping line here under a distance time graph means that the car is traveling at constant speed because speed is equal to distance divided by time and therefore the slope of the distance time graph here represents speed so for the first two kilometers the car is traveling at a constant speed until it reaches 15 kilometers now what happened to the car at this point here you notice that the distance does not change therefore the car is stationary and hence, for the next two hours, the car did not move. Similar to the first part, the car is moving at constant speed. But because the slope is higher, it is moving at a higher constant speed. For the next two hours, it moves faster until it reaches 45 kilometers. Now, what happened after this? For the next two kilometers, the car is actually moving at constant speed, but back to the starting reference point here. So the car is actually moving back to the original point and it will end at the 8th hours. Now let's look at an example. The graph shows the distance time graph of a motorcycle. We're asked to find the speed of the motorcycle at t equals to 7. Yes, the speed of the motorcycle is actually the gradient under the distance time graph. And in this case, we will find the gradient of this line here. Similarly, the gradient is actually the distance divided by time, which is equal to, yes, the distance is 35, and the time is 8 minus 5. And we have the speed to be 11.7 km per hour, rounded off to three significant figures. Next, we are asked to find the average speed of the motorcycle. To recall, the formula for average speed is total distance divided by total time. So the question is, what is the total distance for this distance time graph? You notice that it travels 35 kilometers, rested, and travels 35 kilometers back to the original point. And therefore, the total distance is 35 plus 35. And the total time taken was 8 hours. And the average speed is 8.75 km per hour. Here, we are to find the distance of the motorcycle as t equals to 6.8, which is here. Now, let the distance as t equals to 6.8 be x. So how do we find x here? Well, we can use similar triangles and apply the formula the height of the smaller triangle over the height of the larger triangle equals to the base of the smaller triangle over the base of the larger triangle. Because in similar triangles, the ratio of the corresponding lengths are equal. So what is the height of the smaller triangle? Yes, it is 35 minus x. And what is the height of the larger triangle? It is 35. The base of the smaller triangle is simply 6.8 minus 5, and the base of the larger triangle is simply 8 minus 5. Multiplying 35 on both sides, we have 35 minus x equals to 21. And we were minus 35 on both sides to give us negative x equals to negative 14. Finally, we will multiply negative 1 on both sides to remove the negative, and we will have x equals to 14 kilometers. And therefore, the distance of the motorcycle at t equals to 6.8 is 14 kilometers. In summary, 
in a distance time graph, we will always have a reference point. And in this case, the starting point here, which is the reference point, is at zero kilometers. Then the object moves at the constant speed and the speed can be found using the formula distance divided by time, which is the gradient here. After which the object is stationary and then it is still moving at a constant speed, but it is moving back to the starting point. And that's all for this topic.